Hey guys, um, today in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to turn your desktop into a Skyrim GUI. Uh, it's pretty simple uh, as long as you follow the instructions. As, as long as you follow the instructions it'll turn out something similar to this. First off you want to go to your uh, web browser first thing you need to download is RainMeter. You can get this at rainmeter.net. So uh, just quickly download this, put it in a folder where you're going to remember where it is. Next thing you want to get is the Skyrim uh, RainMeter skin. Go, go to this link up here. I'll post this in the description so it's easier for you to get to. Uh, click download file and save it to the same folder where you saved uh, RainMeter in. Next thing you want to get is a good um, Skyrim wallpaper for your desktop. As you can see, I've just got a simple, simple Windows one at the moment. So um, I'd recommend going to a site called wallbase.cc. Simply search Skyrim, and it'll come up with a bunch of nice wallpapers. I've already got one saved, so uh, you can pick whatever one you want and go with that. Okay, so next thing you want to do is uh, change your wallpaper to your desired Skyrim wallpaper. This will be mine for today. Uh, preferably, uh, I like this photo. It's a nice mixture of colours and whatnot. Okay, so go navigate to your Skyrim, the, the folder you saved the rain meter and the Skyrim theme in. So you're going to want to install Skyrim, uh, not Skyrim, rain meter, sorry. So just follow the prompts, uh, it's usually quite a quick installation. Um, just save yours to the default folder, I save mine to a separate drive. And then click tick yes to run rain meter, finish. It uh, originally rain meter runs with all this, uh, these default skins. Uh, the only one I'll be using is the recycle bin, so I'll save that, won't pull that out yet. Just simply right click all of these uh, skins to just click unload skin to get rid of them. Now you're going to want to install the Skyrim theme. So now you can see that this icon's changed to a raindrop. Double click this and it should install automatically to your rain meter folder. Install. Okay, so now nothing's nothing's changed. Uh, it didn't automatically load the file, so go down to your taskbar at the bottom, right click rain meter, oh sorry no, just double click rain meter, and you'll see TESV Skyrim. And this is where you can open up all of your uh, Skyrim, new Skyrim themes. You've got your uh, clock here, just drag it around, place it wherever you want. Uh, I'll put mine here. Where I had it before. Uh, you've got your CPU bar. That's in the mag. That's as the magic theme. You've got your uh, your date. You usually, you just want to place that under your clock. Got your hard drive bars. Um, this one will show all three or all yeah all three of your hard drives if you have three hard drives. But I don't want that one. I want just the first two. So there we go, I'll just pull them out of the way. Next you'll want your horizontal sidebar. Uh, originally this comes full black, uh, it's not transparent, so you'll want to change the transparency of that. To change the transparency, you just click transparency here. Uh, I think 40% matches what the uh, original Skyrim bar is, so just drag that to wherever you want it. Uh, to make things, at first these will be under the bar, so click the bar and click on, uh, sorry, position, bottom. So now th anything that gets dragged onto this bar will be on top of it. So just place your uh, drive bars there and whatnot, uh, CPU. Next thing you're going to want to run is your launcher. 
uh, just double click launcher will come up with uh, a bunch of the default applications I'll show you how to change these um, at the end of the video uh, RAM bar note that the RAM that comes up there 31.8 gigs that's not actually your true RAM that is win what's called a Windows swap file and your memory added together so I've only got 16 gigs of six 16 gigs of system memory but I also have a 15 gig swap file so turns out to be 31.8 gigs of memory now you'll want your vertical sidebar again this will be a fully opaque bar do the same thing as the horizontal bar change the transparency and make it so that it's on the bottom okay you'll notice that down in the bottom corner here they overlap with each other um, I don't particularly like that effect so I'm going to edit the bottom bar so that its width only comes to here so it won't it won't cross over but it'll still look nice so right click your horizontal bar and click edit skin this text file will pop come up with a bunch of settings um, it's got it's, your height is 132 pixels and your width is it's a it's a um, a variable of your screen width screen width so just backspace that and change it it'll take a little bit to uh, find how how far you want it I'm going to change it to 1500 for now because my monitor is 1920 pixels wide so 1500 should be okay now you notice that nothing changes yet bef to make anything change you have to refresh skin so you'll notice that the bar here has it's chopped off a bit here so you'll just want to drag this over as you can see it's still just a little bit too wide you can either move this over which I'm going to do or you can make this bar longer by changing that property the higher it is the wider the bar will be the lower it is the shorter the bar will be okay so you've got all that all that running nice and well uh, I'll just get out of rain reader here you can cross that out without anything exiting it's all good uh, going to lower this a little bit um, it's a bit too high uh, yeah okay so now you're gonna wanna uh, these are hard to get in line by the way if you want to find control them hold control while you're doing it they won't snap to edges uh, that looks straight enough to me it's probably not I'll have to fix it up you'll notice that you've only got your magic bar and your health bar here if you want to change the color of these right click the bar you want to change the color of so I'll change CPU usage at the moment so right click and click edit skin now it'll come up with a bunch of uh, stuff that you probably don't need to edit but to edit the color you'll notice here bar color equals skin path TSV resource and it navigates to a PNG file so if you've played Skyrim before you'll know the Magicka bar is blue the health bar is red the stamina bar is green and the level bar is white so I'm gonna change it to red so you wanna type health click save it okay so now you have to refresh the skin for anything to come up now you can no you'll notice it's red so if I want to change the memory to, um, let's say, we'll change that to level, which is the white bar. Control S to save. And then you refresh your skin and it'll be white. So I'll do it, do it one more time just to, just to show you which ones are which. I'll change this to blue. So blue is Magicka. Control save right click refresh 
there you go so uh, actually I don't like the white one I'll change that to stamina which is green ah you bugger stamina yep so now that should be green awesome okay so now you're going to want to change these because uh, I don't think you want a link to this fellow's deviant art on your desktop all the time so now you're going to want to go to navigate to your computer go to the drive on which you installed Rainmeter yours will be the C drive but in my case it's the D drive so oh sorry actually easier way just go to your documents here click documents rain meter skins skyrim and then you're going to want to find launcher and you'll notice a file here called apps.txt open that up okay so you'll have uh, your first app here is my computer that's just a shortcut to open up your computer don't have to worry about that okay so if you want if you want to change this web link to uh, Facebook for example I think that was my first choice just type Facebook make sure you keep the quotes next to the uh, text so you just want to want to change axaron.deviantart to Facebook click save and then refresh your bar so now you've got Facebook and when you click it Facebook will come up oh, don't want to, don't you want to see my Facebook um, now if you if you want to uh, open open any other website just change your app path to a, a, um, a web path you can open applications you just choose whatever programs you want um, takes a little bit of fiddling but that's the way Rainmeter works um, I think that concludes the guide um, thanks for watching if you have any questions just uh, type write a comment on the video um, I'll make sure to reply and yeah thumbs up the video thanks for watching